Good evening, book lovers of the internet. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe because for every subscriber, I get a new subscriber and they also read a page from a book of my choice. So in this video, which is the second one of the day, because I have a lot of ideas regarding what content to make at the moment, but in this video, I am going to be reviewing the second short story in Haruki Murakami's first person singular. Um, I just wrote a review for this as a matter of fact, on Goodreads, I will leave the link down below, um, as I usually do, and you can check out my review for the first um, video, which I uploaded yesterday as well, and there's the review for that as well. So, this one is called On a Stone Pillow. It is shorter than the first one, and it has about 20 pages, and I rated it higher than I did the first one. I rated it 3 out of 5 stars. So apparently with this anthology as readers, we're not meant to be able to tell whether the first person is the author, Haruki Murakami, or a narrator which he invented. Um, this is going to be a relatively short video because there really isn't much to say about these 20 pages. Um, but I feel as though I created an interpretation which delves deeper into what Murakami in, um, intended. And um, I have to keep in mind that it is also a translation, so I have to be careful not to be too judgmental in that regard, as I usually am um, careful, I mean, when it comes to translations. So in the story, once again, very little happens, and it is very weird to me how it is simultaneously both thought-provoking yet lacking in depth. It's basically about this character who delves into the way memory works and how reliable it truly is or can be, and um, he goes back to his past um, and speaks about a woman he had sex with one time, and it only happened once, and then um, they completely drifted off. They never met again, and they burned all bridges, basically. All the ties were cut in between them so Murakami um, brings in sex into this one and also uses more language that can be interpreted as sexist with both the man and the woman involved so it isn't sexist towards any gender it is it can be considered to be sexist towards both genders in a way which makes it so interesting because um, both genders are being offended in a way yet nobody is because um, the dialogue nullifies itself in that regard. Um, he speaks about Tanka too, which is a form of poetry I'd never heard of before. Basically, there are five verses. The first and the third will have only five syllables. Um, verses two, four, and five will have seven syllables. Um, kind of like the haiku with five, seven, five, but a bit longer, I suppose. Um, it is so simple and dull, yet due to its fast-paced nature, I found myself creating a deeper interpretation um, than was probably intended. Um, and uh, my interpretation is this in, in very few words, right? I think as though there is a contrast between gender and literature, the female figure, or the body of a woman, and the memory of the male narrator and how these tie together um, to create this rather resonant contrast because um are we looking at the woman in uh, terms of the way that she can write literature and has some very deep philosophical thoughts about life or are we just looking back and remembering what happened between the two and um at the same time there is also this um ongoing discussion whether it would be okay for her to scream another man's name during sex so um that is the other sexist element of this, and um, was it justified for him to think about her regarding her body only and even less about her literature or not? That is basically the question I suppose the story tries to bring up, so in its fast-paced nature I found this to be quite interesting, but because it was lacking in depth and um, it could have been a much longer story considering Murakami and his ability to write um, such simple stories and make them go on forever basically with his descriptive and um, narrative nature. Um, I only rated it 3 out of 5 stars so could have been better but I didn't hate it either somewhere in between. So anyway thank you so much for watching uh, make sure to support my channel in any way you can um, subscribe, like, leave a comment, that sort of stuff, and I'll see you in the next one hopefully very, very soon.
Bye, guys.